uh, so the year 2021. <laughs> We're going to call it the stand. Um, so others call it full of revelation, different things like that. But we'll take as a text, Ephesians 6, 11 through 13. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The word wiles here, methodology, strategy. Satan is a strategist. And so we need to be a strategist. Uh, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, this age, spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. This is the uh, part we want to emphasize. And having done all to stand. The word stand here means antihistamine. It literally means to oppose, set yourself against, resist. James 4, 7, I love this. It says, submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Not he might flee from you, he will. In fact, I think I will say he will run in terror from you. And so, you know, we need to learn to oppose what Satan is doing. Many times people are very passive in their life, but we, this is a time for warfare. This is a time, the analogy given to us is that we are like a warrior bro. We have combat boots on. We're ready for war, even when we're getting married. So we we need to uh, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Um, you know, just a little funny personal thing. I actually went and bought red combat boots. Some of you that know me know I love red shoes. And just, just uh, to wear in this season because it is a time for war. It's a, not a time for passivity. We have great authority over Satan and over the devil. Now, what are some of the things that are being said? Well, what's going to happen in 2021? Well, what we're going to talk about is kind of the season we're in, but also, um, you know, where we go from here. As I said, it's a time of epic spiritual warfare. And we also saw that angelic hosts would be released as we pray. We know that there is the, the, uh, the point of two camps, you know, we see biblically where the angels are in heaven. And like in the book of Daniel, we see where the, the angelic forces were warring a, a, as Daniel prayed and that there is, was a battle and there is a battle. So we need to understand that 2021 is going to be a bumpy year. And last year, you may know that we prophesied it would be a reset year. And uh, the analogy I feel to give for this year is that when you reset your phone, you turn it off because something's wrong. And at first it'll look black. The screen goes black. Well, that's not the eventuality of what's going to happen in that reset. It's going to come to life again. It's, it's going to turn on again and it's going to be better. And so that's what the Lord wants in this reset year. As we're coming to a new era, a new reality, uh, things are not the same as they were. And a lot of things should not be the same as they were. This gives us a time to reevaluate. This gives us a time to look at our lives. And But God wants us to be strong in him and to understand that in the midst of the bumpy road, that he is with us. Um, and, you know, we can we can look at uh, uh, the scripture and we can see from Matthew 24, 6 through 8, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled. That's that's a very key place. See that you're not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Nation will rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There'll be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in various places. All these are only the beginning of sorrows. We felt that that uh, the body of Christ was in the refiner's fire and that the Lord is purifying us right now. In fact, that one of the words that uh, that was added to this was a training to reign. Remember that this is not all there is. This is only a part of our life. Sometimes we can get so fixed or fixated on uh, our current situations or what's going on in this world that we don't understand that there's a lot more to come. There's there's heaven. There's the app, you know, all of eternity one day, a new heaven, a new earth. So this is temporal. So 
even though it's very, very important and we are called to make disciples of nations, we're called to bring reformation and transformation and that there will be nations that move powerfully towards this to be a transformed nations. I, I think I prophesied over Indonesia about a transformation that would come there just recently. And uh, 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 there are other uh, states in the US, some will be sheep states, we call them, or those that are aligned with God, and others will be goat states, or those that are not aligning with God. And uh, uh, I think about the state of Minnesota, God gave me many a word many years ago that you would be a revival state. And so it's good to go back to those promises and stand on them right now in the midst of everything that is happening. Uh, we, we see that, that in various areas of the, of the world, persecution will deepen. But in contrast, I wrote this down uh, in studying from all of our notes, the greatest revival the earth has ever known is upon us. One primary manifestation of this revival will be in the Middle East as nations such as Sudan who have aligned with Israel. You know, so we see this as a season of great polarity, a great, uh, great contrast between light and dark. It's going to be so evident. And what's gonna happen though, from even some of uh, what has gone on, and we've seen in the US a persecution of believers for their faith already, although we've had some wins recently in the courts concerning this, but we see that God is gonna bring forth both here out of this refiner's fire as we're being trained to reign, what more than one person wrote that there's going to be a glory awakening or a glorious awakening. The amount of glory, I wrote this down from some of the notes that we are gonna see released in this new era after the reset will come in suddenly. Those who have been crying for revival will suddenly see receive and experience a great revival. This revival will transform societies and raise up reformers in all areas of society. The revival and awakening will not only be for saving of souls, but the healing of nations. Miracles will be commonplace in the marketplace in Hollywood. And listen to this, come on, this is very, very good. It's uh, uh, one of the words was, and I, we have a concurrence on this, it'll lead to a renaissance in the arts with great creative anointing being displayed through worship uh, and even other art forms such as painting, sculpture, and dance. Uh, this glorious waking will also manifest spontaneous deliverances. In other words, there are people that have needed to be delivered of addiction, pornography, um, you know, every, every kind of addiction, they're just going to be instantaneously set free. However, there will also be the ministry of deliverance. Listen to me. What we, the Bible says these signs will follow those who believe. And one thing is they will cast out demons. You know, listen, demons are real. Demon, evil is real. But there are real entities. This is what the Bible says. You know, this isn't just some ideology. These, these are real things. And people are oppressed. Right now, people are oppressed with many things. But, but churches are going to once again have deliverance ministries. 